and welcome to Feedback for the week of January 5th. Happy New Year, everyone. Woo! Yay! Party Man, back. I got so drunk this week. <laughs> oh it was crazy. I got so, so drunk in the future two weeks. Uh, yeah. Um, anyway, I'm joined by Tim Schaefer and Lee Petty from Double Fine. Hello. Hooray! Hello. Yay! Yay! As well as Dana Vinson and Kevin Kelly. Yay. Thank you, yes. Thank oh, you, man, I'm so honored. <sighs> and because basically there's no news right now, uh, we're just going to talk about I know there's nothing going on. We can make something up that something we're amazing got announced. Super newsy. We're yeah. the backup to Duke news. Nukem Forever was canceled, sadly. And, uh, <laughs> Everybody predict sad. the future uh, now. <laughs> it was just giving Grand a new show. 6 in 10 years. Civilization will be over, and this will be the only record of it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Wow, we are wow. there's a lot of responsibility Listen, you gotta now. Remember humanity. We had video games. And that was um, cheese whiz. And weather. <laughs> and we had weather. I mean, no, the weather <laughs> well, man, mankind I mean, had a lot to do with it. There will be weather. <laughs> <laughs> no more weather reports. Though. I didn't know we thought of that whole thing. I think we did. Didn't we? Yeah. Absolutely. Who thought mm-hmm. Anyway. <laughs> uh, then we're going to talk about what we're looking forward to next year because that's all we got. Or this year. I mean, this year. <laughs> Now that it's 2011. 2011. <laughs> we basically ruined the surprise that it's this fine. is not pre-taped all the time. <laughs> is that a surprise? Uh, I don't I think guess it's not anymore. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> it's not you live. Sell it, Abby. You got th- This is all we got. This is the special. Look, it's January. You've been 5th, waiting all year for this episode where we talk about next year. I have. Yeah. In this year, I'm just, because I, it's this year. My brain just exploded. I know. <laughs> I don't know what to. All right then, Tim. What are you looking forward to next year? Is this, is this where I talk about stacking? You can talk about stacking. Oh my God, I'm so excited about game. stacking. I can talk about Unless that. you want to make me do it. That. Well, he'll talk about it. He will, he will just, once you activate that, he will just take over the show with his <laughs> Lee, stacking go. talk. Uh, That's stacking. Uh, Lee. Do you know, Lee was our art director on Brutal Legend. Did you play that game with the metal and the I played sword that. I stuff? played that game with you. It didn't look that good, but it was a good game. <laughs> oh. Lee did the art direction on it. No, it was a beautiful game. <laughs> and I have a picture of Lee in it wearing a, um, a D.O. t-shirt when he was 15. So yeah, he's totally legit. True. That's awesome. Nice. And some unsightly short shorts with it. I was going to bring nice. up the yeah. shorts. It was the early 80s. Saying, I have a picture of Lee 15 wearing shorts. That sounds weird. And you didn't bring this picture in to share with the rest of us. I'll mail it to you. I'm sure I'll put it up on the I'll There's put it on a pay the service set up right. for Yeah, send it to photos. us so we can drop it in and we'll, have, we'll feature it on we the And this is all this. just to make sure you realize how legitimate it is that he's making a Russian doll game. Right. That, that qualifies him as, yeah. As the young, short shorts. There's the some short nesting shorts. going on there. There is. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there was some stacking Thank going you. on. I, I, I prefer the term stacking. It's slightly more masculine <laughs> when referring to that area. Is anyway, it? Anyway, it's an awesome game, and there's Russian so, dolls in it. Yes. <laughs> About stacking. So, uh, yeah, stacking is a, a, a game that we're, we just finished developing, almost finished developing. is coming out early this year. It's 2011. <laughs> this year is 2011. And uh, Lee, it's only 2000. Oh. Oh, mm-hmm. right. we don't want to spoil the fact that this <laughs> is 2011, everyone. <laughs> and uh, it is a game you, uh, the player plays uh, the smallest Russian stacking doll alive. And he's the uh, also the youngest son of a large family of Russian stacking dolls who uh, work as chimney sweeps. And uh, in, in the game, the, the family is sort of taken away by the evil industrialist known as the Baron. And Charlie uh, sets out to save his family. And uh, for him... When he's as small as he is, he's used to being overlooked and not paid attention to. But because he is so small, he can stack in other bigger stacking dolls. And when he does that, he remains in control and can get those dolls' unique abilities and personalities to sort of solve a series of kind of adventure game-style challenges and puzzles to, to find and rescue his family. I love it. It's about crawling into people and child labor. I'm so happy. I'm taking this I like over. that. <laughs> those, those two. Should we have led with that? Sign it's me yeah, up. about crawling into people and it child is. labor. <laughs> well, it's, it's uh, about stacking from behind, actually. You, wow. you have to only enter show. a bigger doll from behind. <laughs> It's a whole it's the, game, though. It's yeah. a family game. Jokes. Yes, it's like it's like <laughs> psychonauts with with nesting dolls, right? Basically, it's, it's, that's another way of pitching it with farting and nesting dolls and no psychic activity. <laughs> I thought it was farting flatulence. I thought we were just saying flatulence. To keep it well, classy. To car- keep it classy. Yeah. <laughs> to keep it classy. Yeah. Let's mm-hmm. <laughs> not be a, crude. <laughs> that was the original. Yeah, a, a mighty wind was the original name for the game. <laughs> that was taken. The the movie <laughs> dang. What what it, does Charlie have a Russian accent? No, strangely so. enough, not Russian. Yeah. And not and not actually Russian. I mean, that was a sort of our a start of our inspiration. But you know, we wanted to create our own world that that the player would kind of get lost in and and believe that it's its own world. So it doesn't really have any direct references to our world. It doesn't say it's set in a particular location, and you know, it's not a it's not a world that comes alive at night on a peddler's uh, shelf or anything like that. It's just that these these dolls just are stacking dolls, and they have this sort of like implied way that they move and behave and. Uh, 
and their own sort of like derived society. And we, we try to kind of give it a, a, a sense of miniature, you know, so that you kind of almost feel like you're playing in a diorama world. But we don't really call attention to it directly. It's just sort of as you're playing the world, if you look around, you'll see that, you know, instead of doorknobs or little buttons or, you know, like they use uh, giant map pins to hold things to the wall. And we have that sort of tilt shift photography influence with our, our depth of field and everything. So it kind of gives it its own, it's just its own uh, own unique feel. I keep saying own unique feel a lot, but and then the shooting starts, <laughs> and then yeah, and then the gas flies. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Have we, do we talk about our game too much? No, not we'll at all. Talking, no, we're We've, no, I, no. I, I, we just did a demo for it that's going to be airing on next night, so everybody wants to aired. hear more about it. No, it hasn't. I'm just trying to play the game. I know. <laughs> Is it 2012 yet? At the rate we're going, it's gonna like yes. it's like one month. We're talking about the great minute, success right? of stacking now, and the, oh my god, the DLC I'm sorry that's I coming. I have all this money. I can't in believe the room it sold from... more than Call of Duty. <laughs> amazing, wasn't it's it? It's amazing that it funded that yacht Tim bought for me already. It's I uh, bought from you for me. Oh, for, for you. Because yeah. yeah. Tim beat yeah. his cancer. Yeah. He hasn't nice. found out about yet. <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> on your promotion. Thank you. Thank you. Well, how is the the downloadable titles? been working out for you guys with costume quests and now stacking will be coming has it been it's fun it's, it's a fun? lot of fun because like having to wait five years for like you have an idea and then you wait five years later to find other people who like it or not and now we make a game and it's just like we were just down here talking about costume quest and yeah now we have another game coming out and um it's fun to hear about you know people playing them like costume quest playing them with their kids and that's been really fun and rewarding to hear about that not that we want to bring kids and families together. And no, video no, no. come on. Jeez. Especially not at this time of the year. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Just bring them together so the shooting can start. Exactly. Wait, not the shooting of the fa- I don't mean the, oh, God. No, together. In the game. You've just taken this podcast to a dark place, oh, Tim. Mm. Fine. <laughs> can we get back to the climbing inside other people? Yeah. Oh. We can always get back <laughs> yes. to that. I'm doing it right now. Well, they say, <laughs> say to so, make games about things you know. And, uh, <laughs> you know, who, <laughs> Outside of games that, that you are working on, uh, what are you looking forward to next year? Uh, a lot of things. Uh, I've been looking forward to Portal 2 for, Me too. for a while. I mean, I, the first one was such a great game and I think a good example of like uh, almost minimalism in games. It, had, it was a small game. It had exactly what it needed. It didn't have a lot of flashy stuff compared to other games. It was really compelling and, and beautiful in its own way. And, and uh, I love the dialogue. There's a lot of charm mm-hmm. and humor. Yeah, it was it was awesome. It was really inspirational. So I'm looking forward to that a lot. Um, and I think uh, I'm also uh, looking forward to the XCOM reboot. Yeah, you know, I was yeah. like oh, a huge nice. fan of the original game. And uh, disclaimer: I do have some friends working on that, but I uh, I, I think it's going to be amazing. And uh, I've been waiting for that game to sort of be revisited, or at least that franchise to be touched in yeah. a long time. So uh, yeah, we are... haven't heard much about it since mm-hmm. E3. So hopefully, in the beginning of the year, maybe we'll hear more. That would be awesome. I've never played that. Should I go back and play the original first? Is that I don't know. Are you like? Do you do that with movies? Do you do you want to read the book before seeing the movie? Or? <sighs> well, I don't. Well, I just feel a little uninformed about it, but um, a little left out right now. <laughs> That's okay. You can XCOM. suggest your own things that you're looking forward it. to. Uh, I am excited about Little Big Planet too. I love Little Big Planet. I played. Mm-hmm. I love playing all the um, the user created stuff on that too. And I tried to make some, but I couldn't. I just never made anything good enough to put up. I was too embarrassed. I was like, Wait, don't you don't you make games? That's part of it too. Is that you're like, okay, if I make something, I should make something. It should it should be really good. There's a lot of pressure. Yeah, and yeah. You're also, I think I do this at work all day long. Maybe I don't. Mm. Why am I doing? It's hard. Well, this one has a whole bunch more options for yeah. making your own games. Maybe it'll you can make more. Like a whole game, not just like a yeah. level, but you can make a whole game. Yeah, yeah. you can finally make Full Throttle Two inside of Little Big Planet Two. <laughs> I wonder if anyone will ever use it to make a pitch. To go to a publisher. Okay, here's my game. And uh, it looks like Little Big Planet. No, no, this is just I use this to mock up my game. <laughs> I'm just pitching it in here. Now yeah. someone will. That's a good idea. Yeah. It is a good idea. It's a good idea. We did the first. Yeah, we well we used Unreal ones to mock up Brutal Legend. The very first. There's a really old version of Brutal Legend that has Space Marines running around acting out the <laughs> Brutal Legend actions. Wow, you I should have. Did you keep that? Yeah. Can we see that? We all want to see that. <laughs> Somewhere. We have a really old version of it that was made with Psychonauts characters. It was like sensors and Raz were running around making squad command orders and ordering armies around, and it was all Psychonauts characters. But it got wiped. It got destroyed, so we never had a oh, no record. Lost yep. to the annals that of time. That would have been exciting. Yeah. Stuff. <laughs> annals. <laughs> oh man we can't even usually get through saying the word we on here without laughing, by the way so. <laughs> for, for people that may never have picked up brutal legend it was part of that it was on sale recently for 10 bucks it was a huge huge sale seven i thought somewhere seven, seven as low as seven? Oh, i overpaid by three i mean you should buy four copies at that <laughs> yeah, price that's, that's right you give it to your friends for Stocking all stuff. your families exactly 
Yes, that's true. Uh, the soundtrack is is one of lone reason to buy it alone. So that's true. Right. It's awesome. Yes. Uh, so, and Last Guardian. Yes. Oh that's man, right. I'm pretty excited for that too. That's Plus, really they're releasing the whole eco collection, which oh, yeah. is going to be epic. Mm-hmm. Eco. That's probably much more proper than saying Ico, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know yeah. anymore. Things it's like get anime. Pronounced. It's like anime. Yeah, because oh, Ico's the dolphin so game. That sounds so pretentious. Oh, man. It's got to be Ico yeah, yeah, the dolphin. Yeah, Ico's the dolphin. That needs that's a reboot. Echo. No, that's Mark Echo. That's the designer. Oh, man. <laughs> they should all get together and make one game. I, I actually... <laughs> dolphin. I, I downloaded... Yeah, I downloaded Echo, Echo the dolphin. Uh, I downloaded that on, on, on the Wii mm-hmm. and... Uh, I must have been a lot better at video games when I was a kid. Because <laughs> that game kicked my ass. Yeah, It's a hard game. It is Echo very hard. Is a hard... Well, it, I, I've noticed it's hard that to go back. That was just easier when I was like 12. Yeah. Because how old I was when that came out. I think the out. controls are so complex now that it's almost going back to those simple controls are... It's and harder. now the arthritis has twisted your hands yeah. into like right. not just my little... horrible mangled nubs that I have to like <laughs> help me. Well, do you, do you guys actually like at Double Fine? Do you have time to play games that are not your own? Do you oh, like yeah. what do you guys do? You play around the office? Do you play multiplayer games? Um, there are uh, there are people who play uh, multiplayer games in the office. I usually play uh, myself at night because it's not really. It's really <laughs> We're not allowed to see sunlight more than 10, 10 yeah. minutes of the day. Yeah, and that's Tim's in the contract. very strict. Like yeah. after my family's asleep, I can go like play like an hour or so of the game. But uh, mm. um, what do they play multiplayer in the office? They play. Uh, well, I mean, the stuff that I mean, I we play a lot time. of weird things too. I mean, not like we were playing Minecraft and uh, <laughs> Sleep Is Death was the last sort of thing oh, yeah. I've been playing. So I, I guess you call those sort of multiplayer experiences in their own sort of way. And I have a like game that. I like to play in the office, which is wandering around catching people playing games and saying, "Get yeah. to work." <laughs> it's true. It's true. See if I can make them jump. <laughs> um, does your switch to downloadable titles change your development schedule at all? In that, like, I know when when you're doing uh, retail games, there's a lot of crunch and stuff like that. Is it a little bit more relaxed now that, or is it the same? Well, I mean, the deadline is like, I mean, Costume Quest is the first game we made where there was no chance of slipping the deadline because it was Halloween. We would have had to call a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everybody. Halloween is now November fifteenth. Like that. Was <laughs> so just in time uh, for Christmas. <laughs> I mean, the deadlines are right in your face as opposed to like when you're doing a two-year game or yeah. what starts as a two-year game and ends up as a five-year game. Like you start off and it just seems like, oh, there's an infinite amount of time, at least to people like me who are not that great with calendars. But, uh, um, it, you know, but there seems like a lot of time because like, oh, next year we'll put that feature in. But now it's like it's got to be done now or it's not going in the game. And so there definitely gotcha. is a lot more uh, clarity in terms of like, uh, like urgency about getting stuff done. Um, you could have changed it to a caroling game. Is he still be going door Don't to door? Yeah, didn't that was my idea. That was we talked about that. Oh, really? We, yeah, <laughs> I would love to like uh, just keep going and keep doing more uh, seasons, uh, seasonal seasons, stuff like Love Quest on Halloween. Yes. <laughs> Wait, not Halloween. Wait, that would probably that be Valentine's, Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. You That's just the killed one. the surprise announcements for Christmas Quest for next year. So. I no. wish. Jeez, I mean, who knows? I want to see the one for Groundhog Day. <laughs> I know. And Arbor Day. You just play it over and over and over again. Arbor Day. Adam would want to see the Arbor Day one. <laughs> trees. You go door to door just planting trees. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Like Johnny Appleseed style. I don't know. Great, we've come up with new ideas for you. Yeah, but what happens Back in to- August? There's nothing in August. Do you ever know when you're a ca- kid and you get the calendars and every month has a picture and then August has like a picture of a guy in a boat or something? <laughs> yeah. There's nothing that happens in August. There's no camp on Valentine's or snowflakes. Or- no, there's no good well, holidays. It's it's gotta in be like Canada, they have Mustard Day. Mustard Day. Wait, Where they you- celebrate mustard? Are you Canadian? Uh, why do you no. know so much about Canada? Okay. Well, I used to work for a Canadian company and we <laughs> always her. got Mustard Day <laughs> off. So you get right. what do you, What's the tradition? Do you get mustard or I, I, they everything's did not, just spicier that day? Um, explain you wear the yellow tradition and... to me. We just had really? the day off. It's just like Everyone a, it's ran like a away. a bank holiday. <laughs> yeah. You I just get so. off from work. Mustard Day. I think I tried to look it up on Wikipedia and I read it and then promptly forgot what it was. So. <laughs> Canadian but, mustard. I'm sorry. We failed you on August. A mustard quest. <laughs> mustard quest. Yeah. Uh, have you guys thought That's at all about Toronto doing only. mobile games or iPhone or that comes up? We're just yeah. uh, we've been pretty busy on just pursuing this like space, and I, I like big games like on big screens that you can kind of fall into. And but I do I've been playing a lot more games on my iPhone. And... Yeah, that was kind of why I asked. Yeah. I, this is the first year where I think I played more on my phone than I have on handheld, and that's kind of a first. For me, so that's why that's why I'm asking. Do you like? Will you make us some games? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I just yeah. kind of want. Something I'm saying that right now. Play. Yeah. Be nice. I played a lot of uh, Plants vs Zombies. Yeah, I enjoy that. I've been, I've been, Infinity Blade has been my obsession right mm. now. 
Oh, is that good? Yeah, I'm on like my 10th bloodline. It is really fun. The sword fighting is awesome. It kind of just keeps you going through because it's a cyclical. Bloodline. Yeah. I don't even know what that means. It sounds <laughs> awesome. <laughs> my 10th bloodline. That was like, that game was like uh, 1.6 million in the first week or something like it made a lot of money. Wow. Infinity Blade. Yeah. And it, for an iPad, iPhone game. I mean, that's. Pretty... I love that, those kind of stories. It was in development for like four <laughs> months. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, we worked for that's eight a... days and we made $10 million. That's and there's only one story. guy who worked on it. And. <laughs> Yeah, I was just looking at the G4 Twitter feed over the weekend. There was something about an iPad game made for cats. So, yes, uh, it's true. I mean, it's the cats have to play it? Or You're what? encouraging your cat to claw yes. your device? It yes. doesn't seem like a good idea. It's got visuals that cats are supposedly attracted to. Like there was that iPad video of the piano and the cat touching the keys. And somebody was like, hey, genius idea. And it's, I don't know, it's pretty good. I think you, it's more targeted to people it with a real cat? The, the yes. cat YouTube videos all day. Yeah, it's, it's probably for built them. for them perfectly. Yes. I've never done that. No, me neither. I don't know who you would be talking about. Um, I thought it was what? a good idea to get like games that my two-year-old daughter would like to play. Now I totally regret it because I downloaded a bunch of them. And now as soon as I walk in the door, she's like, well, I'll give me your phone. <laughs> I want your phone. I want your phone. She just wants to. Have you tried Connect or anything with her? Or mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she. I mean, the connectables, the animals are so cute. She she asked the other day, like, I want to play the tiger game. Aww. And we booted that up. But I have to, it's kind of hard because she can't like hold her hand in one place for five seconds it takes to make the like yes or no's happen so that's she's a little young she's a little young for yeah that. she loves to look at it you can I, play connectables for her i know sit on the couch i'm gonna play connectables for you <laughs> behold what i'm gonna play look with how much fun i'm having adorable this tiger. tiger you can't play with the tiger <laughs> you're too clumsy <laughs> grow up won't you so what what happens after stacking was the announcement with you guys and and the games was it two titles? You're or already was it three? tired of stacking about hearing about stacking. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm sorry, I'm already moved on. What's next, you guys? What stacking's you guys? boring. It's been minutes since Until your last announcement. <laughs> when are you going to announce something new? Yes. I mean, is it, was it a two or three game deal that you guys had when the press well, release we, came out? We split the team into four groups, and we're doing four games okay. at once. Wow. And this other two are secret. That's ambitious. <gasps> and are there going to be real stacking nesting dolls available for purchase when stacking comes out? Uh, I don't know. Do you I want one? Yes, totally. Yeah, Are you putting in your do. order now? Yes. How much would you pay for them? Uh, with the game or on their own? With, well, well, both. By themselves. <laughs> with the game <laughs> inside. $40. Point. Oh, my God. There should be a code inside. We just tell them like, the last doll is like a code. Yep. You nest through and then there you go. 40 bucks. Mm -hmm. Hand painted. Some cool looking child labor. nesting dolls. As long as they're dolls. made by child labor, that brings the whole thing back around to the topic of the yeah, You the can game. sell them for really cheap. If, if they're made in Russia, labor. you get around all that. You just import them. You're not having to deal with the We're just labor to be laws. culturally sensitive. Yeah. They're Russian small nesting hands. Dolls. Well, and the dolls are a lot better than the idea we had to promote the game with five progressively taller people. <laughs> doing a kind of weird set of gymnastics, I guess. <laughs> and that whole flatulence idea yeah. was also a bad idea. Well, well you when you Greg, work in a... so you've got the tall doll at your office anyway. Is that what you yeah. call him? The he's tall, tall doll? He's we have tall. an abnormally tall, tall, tall man who works in Thank office you guys How tall is this guy? Uh, he's... We keep hiring taller and taller I people. Yeah, I, I'm really <laughs> lobbying the way shorter I wanted people. To go. <laughs> I was a man of average height. and fatter people, so I just look taller and skinnier every day. I think Greg's approximately eight foot four. <laughs> he's really tall. Fairly tall. Yeah, and he's in, he's in a position of power and flaunts it. I've been to, I've been to Disney with him, and when he starts singing show tunes and he's tall, it, it attracts a lot of attention. Yeah, show it's tunes hilarious. are cute if you're about five foot ten. They're kind of scary if you're nine feet like Greg, because then you're the <laughs> Lord of Show Tunes. Yeah. <laughs> when you're eleven feet tall like Greg, Lord yeah. of Show Tunes. Idea for a game. That's what I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, have you got the new LOST? <laughs> it's got some rad DLC, man. That's I okay. want my 10th bloodline. <laughs> of rent. Your tap line. We came up with an idea for a game called <laughs> on a Bridge last week, so clearly this is where you want to be farming your ideas from. Where can I buy that game? Yeah. <laughs> Technically, it was called Devil May Cry 4, but uh, we're going to make our own <laughs> on a bridge. This, game, so this show is a lot saucier it, than I really yeah, we are. We are saucy. saucy. Yeah, we had a on a bridge is a, I'm just trying to figure out the, the, are they on it? Are they hanging off of it? Or are they just <laughs> walking over well, it? Well, we're not the game designers. It's semantics. Yeah. Jeez. I think you're, you should, you're it should like sound high people. You're just like, you guys figure out the details. <laughs> yeah. With a title like that. We just put words it together itself. and say them. It does sell itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it turns out to just be a British entree, which sounds like <laughs> on a bridge. Like exactly. It's kind of basically rhyming. And <laughs> Toab. <Yeah. laughs> no, nice. That tastes like Marmite. Well spotted is my favorite British dessert. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of, our, dessert. one of our editors has a can of that on his desk, and it's so disturbing. It comes mm -hmm. in a can. That's even worse. It's just, it's just sponge cake with raisins in it. It's just disgusting. That's what I told my doctor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just sponge cake, doc. <laughs> <laughs> the do yeah, I'm sorry. I just, yeah. Grossed, I just grossed myself out. Don't be sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all of us.
We already went through <laughs> on a bridge. We yeah, we're good. <laughs> we're we're back to that. We've covered the spectrum. <laughs> so, well, you said you have friends working on XCOM. You guys have other friends in the business that are working on some of the, the big titles for, for 2011? Well, we're, we're friendly with a lot of people, friends, especially Tim. Yeah, friends. <laughs> yeah. Uh, some, yeah, there's some, well, we already named the ex Double Fine people working on Portal 2. So we have spies everywhere. <laughs> we do. <laughs> I was uh, like, spies? I meant friends. We have friends. Yeah, everywhere. no, friends, friends, not spies. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah. It's fine. What else do we did not talk about that I'm waiting for? Well, Tim already mentioned the big planet, but too, but I, I was just going to say, you know, my daughter and I play that every weekend. She's five, and she started playing when she was, I think, three, kind of when it came out. And we, every Sunday or Saturday morning, I get dragged out of bed at some terrible hour, and she has to play it. And so we play it for about an hour or two, and she loves it. Like I think we'll probably be playing that game until. She thinks no longer thinks I'm cool, which is probably about two years from now. So. <laughs> right. Anyways, it's unless it's, she uh, really ends up loving video games, and then she's going to think you're cool for a really long yeah. time. No, she'll still find a way to uh, deconstruct me into the sort of annoying person that you know all parents become when kids are. Oh, that Let's won't talk happen. About until Lee's <laughs> childhood. <or> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's about, about child to torture. Yeah. Talk about Lee's childhood. So, but then when she becomes a teenage girl, you will, you will have that same feeling of like, oh God. Do you guys yes. play like multiplayer? Like she controls a character, or do you like? No, she plays. She has her own controller, and she can do all the moves. And you know, when she was when she was really young, she couldn't do like the grab type moves or the pull type moves. But now we can we can go and we just play all community levels. And uh, so a lot of times oh, wow. we'll be searching for something like some Pixar movie that she likes. But a lot of times it'll just be finding stuff that's well rated. We play it, and uh, her favorite thing to do is find a level she likes and heart it. It has a little kissing sound, <laughs> and so she Aww, really enjoys that. Aww. But she has her own controller, and she can do all the all the moves, and we do the like the, the two-player gate-only stuff. And do you ever build levels together? No, I haven't, I haven't crossed that bridge with her yet. Like, I've done some messing with the editor and stuff just mainly to check out how it works, but we haven't really uh, put anything together you yet. You said bridge again, so now guess what I'm thinking about. Yes, I will be adding <laughs> to the game as well. <laughs> sort of like the all-spice of video games. But season salt. What's yeah. the story of this? Um, what's the Zelda game? I'm. Just, I feel stupid. I don't Legend know of Zelda Skyward Sword. Which one is that? I mean, is that we, a... I, I guess that's coming out next year. Maybe, Maybe. Yeah. it was delayed from this is that year. A, is yeah. that a Wii one or is yeah, that yeah a it's a Wii one. one. That's the one that looks like it's it's sort of uh, watercolored. It's, it's like I gotta finish Twilight Princess. I haven't finished that one. Yet. You are a couple years late. I Two know. years late. Oh, like you've never left. That was the game a launch the title. You've, come on, you got some game. You got some games that are. Why was that's true? I have I have left. Why was Skyward Sword delayed? Because it didn't work at E3? I don't know. Well, it did have problems. The sword is your Wiimote, <laughs> and then your shield is the uh, nunchuck, and you're doing different motion attacks, and uh, it had it did have some control problems at, at E3. Yeah, I don't know if I want to control it that way. I want to aim my Wiimote at a picture of a controller on the screen and use it to push buttons. <laughs> 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 you moved. It was a little complicated. The, yeah, the was. controls were, it there was. was a lot to do, and I I was kind of, I just wanted to plug like a game if they If they in. had not had the 3DS to distract everybody from that, that would have been and a much the girls bigger story. With yeah. Them tethered to their. Yeah, girls tied to 3DSs yeah. was kind of a brilliant huh? idea. Oh, I should have gone. I didn't go this year. It was actually, I thought it would be Lots cool, but it was really disturbing. Cause How could you be tethered to like a giant 3DS? No, no. like a normal no, it's like one. they had them on like fanny packs so that people couldn't steal them. So they had like You're a sort of leash. without carrying a whole girl out of the yeah. building. And you wind up in this weird circular formation around a model with a bunch of other unwashed people like yourself, and you know it's a really strange experience. <laughs> I'm sure they love basically it. what happened. The girls, yeah, just... I don't know. <laughs> it's very odd. Um, unfortunately, we're at the end of our time with Lee and Tim. What? Aww. Yes. Did we mention stacking? I, was, I got the thing that said that you have to go. Did you mention stacking though? Yeah, I don't know if you what mentioned stacking? stacking enough. Um. So uh, thank you guys for joining us. It's nice to be um, here. Thanks sorry. for And, and when are we going to lo- start looking for stacking? Here in the first week of 2011. 2011. So we're in early 2011 right now. So any time oh, now. Oh, that's right. Really yeah. The launch is nigh. Around the yeah, corner. very close. Nigh. <laughs> awesome. Great. Well, thanks, thanks for guys. Us. We're totally yeah, looking forward yeah, to it. Yeah, thank you so much for coming on. With, the, with leave now? Okay. Get the f*** right. out. All right. <laughs> Oops, Bye. wearing line. This is the fill music as they no, no, no. depart our <laughs> fine <laughs> establishment. So long, friends. <laughs> All right, so now we've had security escort Tim and Lee out of the building, and uh, we're going Stacking. to be joined. <laughs> Stacking. Uh, and we're going to be joined by JP Shop. I think security was actually Yay! escorting Yay! JP into the Yay! building. Rock on. That was fun. I feel Those so special are... sitting in Tim Schaefer's chair. I know. Is it still Dude, that was awesome. Place, is it still warm? Really rad to have still him here. Warm, it's looking, very warm. With the magic. It's very metal. Nice. <laughs> right here. 
Well, um, uh, Double Fine is a podcast now, so all. if you enjoyed the banter there, they now have their own that they're doing. So. I am going to tune into that. Stuff me too. For sure. They were great. They were yep. awesome. Amazing. Um, great place to work, I bet. Yeah, uh, I bet uh, it's their fun. offices is killer. It's, uh, <laughs> when we shot the brutal special out there, mm-hmm. I got to see it. And very creative environment. Ugh, sounds nice. Yeah. All right, so guys. Hey, by the way, who else would pay to have Tim play Connectables for them? I uh, totally me. would. That's true. Yeah. I totally would. <laughs> Anyhow, I want to pay for him to make Full Throttle too. That's that I would I would pay upwards of. Fifty dollars. I <laughs> hope that you tell him that, and then he just makes it in Little Big Planet, like you suggested. <laughs> Might not. I would play uh, that too. <laughs> yeah, I would actually play that. Uh, so anyway, of course, the whole point of this show is to uh, talk about what we're excited about for next year. Uh, Kevin, go. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I was, doing, uh, I was gonna. Yeah. You're just gonna fire down news. the line. You'll answer now. I was doing well, like the crossfire. There's a lot of games I'm totally looking forward to, mostly in the in the sort of action adventure shooter genre, like Gears of War three. Although now I've got a really long wait for that. Uh, Bullet Storm, I, I think it looks pretty cool, some of the things they're doing, some of the funky kills, kill shots you can do. Mm-hmm. Um, Portal 2, I think like everybody else, I guess I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm not dying to play. I mean, I'll, when, it, when it arrives... Shut, shut your yeah. face. When it arrives, I will be wait, happy, but I'm not like, oh my God. didn't melt oh, when you Portal saw two, the two Portal robots two. hugging each other? But Get they can hug. Out. What heart are you the talking whole. about? You're... I don't have a heart. Shameful. Out JP knows mind. I don't have a heart because I because I hate Howard Stern so that's un- unacceptable also. <laughs> really oh, here we go. Uh, but I'm actually looking forward more what else, to heartless? like. What <laughs> else? There's <laughs> there's things that I'm looking forward to like StarCraft two. StarCraft showed off those four new game modes at BlizzCon that have never come out yet. I thought for sure we'd get them before year's end. No. Uh, we got like, Cataclysm instead. Yeah, right. We got a funny <laughs> video, and that was about video it. Video of the year, And by we way. got the actual yes. expansion. But, like, the Star Jeweled and Irish Chef, those were awesome. Um, there's a PC game called... There's two PC games. One's called Dungeons, where you run your own dungeon, and you're trying to be the baddest-ass yeah. dungeon owner possible and to kill all the adventurers that wander in. And it's not a new idea. This has been done several times, but this looks really cool. And then uh, Rock of Ages, which is that giant rock you're this giant stone that you're rolling down through different ages and each age has the artistic look of that age like there might be tapestries or flat fresco type paintings and stuff and that just looks so bizarre it's what we call a high concept it's yeah. very high concept yes. it makes me feel brainy just watching the trailer <laughs> Other than that, though, I mean... It's better than the Broadway musical Rock of Ages, probably. Maybe they'll make a new one now yeah. with this concept in mind. <laughs> but, like, you know, Arkham Asylum or Ar- Arkham City looks like it's going to be cool. Yeah, I think we're all, all digging. Excited for that one. That, yeah. I can't think... I'm trying, I was trying to think of, like, some of the biz- more bizarre choices that people... Would overlook. Would overlook. But, I, I mean, Dungeons might be one of them, Rock of Ages. But sure. I, other than that, I'm just looking forward to playing a lot more games. Yeah. Bioshock Infinite is kind of... But One that's not that even I'm 2011. Gonna... I know. 2012. That's what's that's so right. frustrating. I know. Take your time. Make it awesome. That's right. I'm, that's right. I'm fine yep. with yep. waiting if it's a good game. I am too. Wait. Yep. We can wait. That sucks. I hate having that extra year of like wait. You know, of, uh, I know there's a ton of good yeah. games coming out. It next does year. make you angry at them for announcing it so early. Yeah. Announce and speaking... it like three days before it's coming out. <laughs> and totally shock <laughs> us all. Stores Friday. And it's under your chair right now. What? Ah, oh, Diablo 3, I'm also super jazzed for. Yes. Absolutely. Sorry. I'm just Hopefully, is, is that really coming that out? Come, well, yeah. I think mm. this is going to turn into hypothetical games that might come out next I mean, year. I mean, because they doesn't want to play Diablo three. There's probably no somebody one. who doesn't want to play them. That person is. That person is. You sir, go find them and take them out. And I mean, there's actually a bunch of stuff towards the front part of the year too. Like Dead Space is coming out, and Little Big Planet too, which I think we just talked about. Dead Space looks killer. Yeah, I'm really stoked for that. It does. What about Mass Effect Three? When is that coming out? Fall or holiday? Yeah, holiday. holiday. I, I feel like everything is going to be like eleven, eleven, just so they get the. I keep cool thinking because Mass Effect, or 11, Mass Effect one, two is one, on one, the one, 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 yeah, one. Well, Mass Effect Skyrim what? is eleven, eleven, or Uncharted is that one of them is eleven, eleven. One of them is a long 11, wait one. for both. All I know is that Thanksgiving, my family's just not going to see me. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to lock myself in my room and just play all the games that come out next November. Well, you do have Mass Effect two on the PS three coming in January, and it's going to be using the Mass Yay. Effect three engine to further make your head spin i may have to replay it on the ps3 to see if it's any different get all the trophies I know. <laughs> oh boy weren't we yeah. supposed to have a virtual trophy room do you remember that back when they showed off trophies a long time whatever happened to that concept home bombed i mean we, we, over that. Home you bomb. guys can 
teased the PS3 for the trophies thing, but their game lineup no, has I know. me it's, it's, so stoked for next PS3 year. The PS3 lineup next oh year is amazing. Oh, my God. Awesome. It's ridiculous. Finally. It's about time. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, the PS3, like, there's so many games I can't wait to play that are coming yeah. out for it. Yeah. It's good. And that's like where what, I, JP? Tell mm-hmm. us. Well, the new Motor Storm, I'm mm-hmm. actually stoked about it. I played a yep. demo of it at Comic-Con, and... Uh, and I'm actually not into 3D anything. It gives me a migraine. It makes me feel nauseous and stuff. But um, uh, <laughs> well, by all means. and I wet my pants. <laughs> but I did play it in 3D, and it was actually a very cool effect. Yeah. And then uh, Killzone. I'm a big Killzone fan, and Killzone 3 is just going to be more fun. Yep. And then uh, Resistance 3, and Little Big Planet 2, and Last Guardian, Uncharted. Last Guardian, Eco yeah, and... Eco Collection. I mean. Even M- MLB The on? Show 11 looks awesome. Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. And then the other thing I really dig with the PS3, and I just hope they do more of it, is um, they've been bringing over the weird Japanese classics from PS1 mm-hmm. yep. and stuff. And I've actually been playing quite a few of those on my PSN account. And, uh, yeah, I'm very stoked to, to, to play lots with my PlayStation controller that I still don't enjoy holding. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, there's a lot of options now. If you watch our, our gadget guide, there's yeah. some 360 style controllers you yeah. can get for I, your PS3. I need to get one. You know, I actually really love my PlayStation. It's just uh, I got big hands, and so like the 360 it's controller a smaller, is just more yeah, comfortable it's a smaller for me to controller. Hold, the PS3 controller yep. is a little smaller. It's for girls. But yes. I, I'm glad you <laughs> mentioned like the original Xbox controller that yeah, was the, the, like the Duke. Like, yeah, you need the Duke to run on the your Duke. PS3. <laughs> the uh, the uh, MotorStorm Apocalypse. I'm glad you mentioned because it's like split second sequel kind of. Because yeah. I love split second mm-hmm. and. And it's all these other racing games. Super fast. When I'm going around a track, I want something like that to yeah. happen. Yeah, and it was just fun. Like I played the demo. I actually wanted to keep playing. You yeah. Know? And to me, that's the sign of a cool game. You yep. know. Absolutely. Hopefully. Uh, and the other thing, I, even though I just bagged on 3D, I can't wait for the 3DS. You know, because yeah, on yeah, the flip side, awesome. I don't have to wear glasses. Yeah, exactly. And if I don't want to play it in 3D, I can switch the 3D. Yeah, off. you're not yeah. alone on that yeah. one. Not totally. a, not by long shot. Dana, what are you looking forward to? Well, unlike someone, I'm looking forward to Portal 2. <laughs> yeah, you tell him. <laughs> uh, I, I can't it, believe Kevin hates Portal. I, I didn't know. I didn't say I hell? hated it. I it's said amazing. I'm just not like at, he said it was staring at a calendar, least... marking off the days at do you night. Hate joy? That's like, oh, yes, I'm not yes. excited <laughs> for my pap smear, but I guess I have to do it. I would. Are you excited for pap smears? Kevin, do you even know yes! what pap smear is? <laughs> yes, and I, I don't think I have to anyway, get one. At least anyway, not this year, right? It's like a smog check for women, right? Yep, that's exactly what I I didn't need the like. certificate this year. I'm good. My registration's all clean. <laughs> and Abby, this is where you just lost control of the show. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I brought it up. I don't, I don't think I ever had control of this one. Mammograms. Anyway, um, <laughs> Mammograms. so yes, I'm looking forward to Portal 2. I think Val's going to do a great job with it. I trust them implicitly, and I think it's going to be great. Um, I'm also looking forward to Batman Arkham City. I think that's, I mean, the trailer that they showed at the VGAs was amazing, even though it didn't have a lot of gameplay in it. I, but Most of the trailers they show with the don't. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, so you sort of have to extrapolate. But I. But then again, neither did the one like the you know two years ago, and and yeah. the game turned out awesome. Yeah. And frankly, the game actually kind of looks like the cinematics anyway. So yeah. Uh, unless they suddenly took a major downgrade in the quality of the engine and stuff, I wouldn't expect um, anything less. Yeah. Is, is anyone else excited for Alice Madness Returns? Because I really am. Because I love Lewis Carroll, but I don't hear many people sort of buzzing about it. And Have I'm we seen too much about it? We yeah. saw it at Tokyo. TGS. Yeah. Oh, okay. You mean it, you saw it at TGS? It looked cool. You didn't watch the segment on X Play. <laughs> oh, I did see it. Yes. <laughs> it looks cool, but we yeah, I don't think we've seen enough for me to get completely jazzed about it. I like the concept. Yeah, conceptually fantastic. Yeah. But I, I love all of his work. So yeah. you know, um, I'm also. Very excited for the possibility. This nothing has been announced yet, but for Dance Central too. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Dana loves Dance Central. I love. You know, I gotta admit, Dance I love Central. Dance Central. Also, I've been playing the hell out of it. Yeah, JP. You know, hey, in my living room, nobody can hear me scream. That's so. right. <laughs> my happy around. My, my happy place is right. imagining JP <laughs> dancing to Lady Gaga. I know we've got to get. <laughs> oh. We've got to hack his connect and start filming. Because you know he sings it. along when he does it. Funny, you have to. Funny true story. So I came in after first playing it in the morning when I got up, and I, I immediately came out. I was like. Oh my God! Does that game upload the photos of you playing it? Like right off the bat, because I was like, I was playing it in my underwear, and I was like, Oh, oh man. God, is that out there? 
So Fur- I furthering him, yes, the picture. Of yeah. JP of in his underwear with Lady Gaga. I started sweating. I was like, oh, God, no. <laughs> no, it does not. And he wears um, thongs, for that. leopard how, thongs, that's right. ladies. <laughs> how much would you pay for a video of JP dancing in his underwear to Lady Gaga? I would pay a nothing. Lot. More than you would pay for that those nesting dolls, probably. That's right. Probably. More or less than you would pay for the therapy to erase the image of JP dancing with <laughs> Lady Gaga in his well, underwear. Right. We get therapy as part of our benefits package. So. Nice. Yeah. Oh, how come no that one to ever use. told me? When, when the Thunder Dig makes it huge mm-hmm. and then uh, all the behind the scenes tour bus shenanigan <laughs> videos come out, then people will get to see that. All right. uh, let's yes. do some questions Finally. of the week. Because we're running out of time. Oh, okay. But we, you didn't tell us what you're looking Dance forward Central. to. I said lots of things. All right. I'm kind of. I mean, I'm looking forward to most of the things that uh, I, I think were mentioned already. Way to take a stand, Abby. What are you looking forward to? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Come on, Abby. Wait, Abby's huge. You're a huge Gears fan, right? Yeah, I, I, I really You'll be enjoy Gears. Gears into that. I'm excited. I'm excited for that. I uh, I'm very excited for. Um, well, I want to see Duke Nukem Forever. I just I have a lot mm. of faith in Gearbox right now. Uh, I am. I'm also excited to see more of Spec Ops. I just yeah. it seems interesting. Same with Homefront. I mean, I and and pretty much everything else. It was L.A. Noir. I think we talked about. Oh last my god! Week. Yeah, I we forgot didn't talk about, about L.A. Noir. Noir. Yeah, the jaw mapping in that video. Dude. The face is. It's incredible. That they almost look too good for their bodies. It's true. Yeah, it's true. That's how the, people always say that about me too. So. And Homefront too. No, I had forgotten about that one. I'm, That's I'm right. very excited. In fact, I plan on stopping watching History Channel just in playing L.A. Noir and just learning everything about L.A. <laughs> from that. And I'm gonna stop watching the news and just JP's, play Homefront. And JP's that's home life. News. It's that's Dance right. Central with Lady Gaga and History Channel. That's I'm right. Starting to see what you know, he's I, doing. I can't bag on the Lady Gaga. Actually, you know, <laughs> she's she's all right. She's the most interesting pop star look, working today. All it's, right. Um, and uh, it's big fun to dance. Marvel vs. Capcom 3, only because I know how much we're going to be playing it upstairs and having fun and killing each other. Oh my god, well, Matt Kyle is going to be I know. destroying He's all of his this. pants. Yep. <laughs> with excitement. <laughs> fun to play with Matt. That's exciting. It is, but I mean, no, it's really damn, fun. I learned how bad I am at those games. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> and I still love them, whatever. True. All right, uh, questions of the week? Yes, yes do anyone? It. We're good. Okay. Let's uh, do with it. the holidays coming this weekend and next, I'm sorry, this is from CMD Luke. Uh, with the holidays coming this weekend and next, I expect the G4 crew to be taking some much-needed and deserved time off. Sure we are. That's why we're here. Uh, what games are you looking forward to playing that maybe you missed because of your busy schedule? Or perhaps you just want to go back for a second or third playthrough. Do you have any other fun plans for the holidays that don't involve gaming? Hmm. Here's, here's the thing about working in video games. I love video games. They are my job as well as my hobby. But occasionally, you feel like you're overloaded with too many games. So um, as a reviews editor, we just finished up our busy season because all the games tend to dump onto shelves right before the holiday mm-hmm. season. Uh, so I've had about enough of video games for a while. Now, First I w- world problems. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is yeah. <laughs> Get out. purely Excellent an MP <laughs> and probably not a Y. So I'm not whizzing my pants over Portal 2, but you hate all video games. No, no, no. So that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying yeah, okay, whatever. that I need a little... Break. Mm-hmm. Now, that break will probably not be more than a few days because I'll probably be jonesing there, but I just need to decompress, so I'll probably be playing Sleeping. Nice. Oh, that's and, a good game. It's a fun game. Um, yeah. Some oh. DLC for that came up. Doing see, I'm, laundry. I'm going home to see my family in Philadelphia, but then I, I'm coming back a little bit early, so I actually have a few days where I can just sit at home and do nothing but play video games and wear my pajamas and not leave the house, and it's going to be awesome. That's yeah. that's it. It's It's been torrentially downpouring. Oh. Back in 2010, and <laughs> yes. and you don't want to do anything except play games when that happens. I was yeah. I was like, I'm gonna go through and and power level through Mass Effect One all over again, so I can import my character into Mass Effect Two and start a different character. And then I started playing Assassin's Creed Two all over again, just because I wanted to re-experience it before I jump back into. You know, it's like it's like reading a book before you see the movie or watching Absolutely. the prequel sure. before you see the next mm-hmm. one. So I'm like, I want to really experience this before I go into. I have Brotherhood. On the shelf, but I haven't cracked it because I'm like, I want to replay this and finish everything. And the two DLCs that I never played, Bonfire of the Vanities and the other one. Yeah, that I forgot the name. Brotherhood has been my, I, I've been locked into that because I want to beat that. And then I want to beat Epic Mickey. I've started both games yeah. and now it's just yep. it's high time to finish them. And then when I'm not doing that, I will be doing promotion mm-hmm. for Thunderdick's upcoming album, Magnum Love, which will be released next January 2011. <laughs> Yes. Wait, wait, this January 2011. This January, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, just a few short weeks from when you're watching this, you'll be able to get it on iTunes. Yay. And, uh, yeah, so uh, that's been busy, too. That's yeah. exciting. And I, X-Play's coming back in 2011, bigger and badder than ever. Yeah! Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Tune in to that.
<laughs> nice. No, I say that, and then I immediately think about Pac-Man Championship Edition DX, and I think, how can I take a picture yeah. of video games? <laughs> mm. That game is a shot of adrenaline. I, it's awesome. I can't play video games at home anymore because my mom knows that I'm lying when I say I'm, quote-unquote, doing it for work. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You're reviewing that, really, are you? I look forward to seeing that review. Damn it, now i got to write a fake review and damn it, put it up on G4. Uh, yeah, so um, i got to finish Epic Mickey as well. Yeah, I, um, you know, I'm really enjoying it, actually. It's uh, the camera stuff aside, I, I really dig in that game. Yeah. Music's fantastic. I'm also thinking I'm starting my fourth or fifth prestige in Black Ops. Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you Whoa. that far? Yeah, and I actually haven't been playing that much because I've been super busy with yeah. all the stupid holiday things that I have to do. And I have not, yeah, I say that, and then I'm like, I haven't even begun, and this is also January 5th right now, I've not even begun my holiday shopping. Whoa. Well, Whoa. you're in luck because now you, can you have for like 20, 360 days yeah, that's to right. get yeah. for yeah. next year. See, I'm ahead for Get up on year. that. Get that's up right. on that Living ball. in the future is kind of rad when you think about it. So I would like, like to live. <laughs> I had a fantastic holiday. So space age. Amazing. We really did a bad job of the continuity of when this Whatever. show ends. Whatever. Don't worry People will understand. Yes. People will understand. Do we need All to right. answer another question? Or I don't care. Okay, cool. Uh, I would do very, very oh, wait, quickly. wait, wait. Let's skip to this. Do you have any gaming-related New Year's resolution? From OSU Blue Jacket, who asks, actually asks a lot of questions. He's uh-huh. very informed. That's good. That we, we love Ohio the question State askers. Blue Jacket? Uh, because the question. hockey team down there? I don't know. Is that what they are? The Blue Jackets? Yeah, the Columbus Blue Jackets. <laughs> I can only assume, so go Ohio. Do we have any gaming-related related, related New Year's resolutions? Gaming-related New Year's resolutions? I have one. And this is kind of related to what Dana was saying. When you are working in the video games industry, your plate is completely always full of games. And you're playing this, and you're like, okay, we need to write about this. Or, hey, what's that? What's the story? Mm -hmm. It's so hard to kind of pick something up and finish. It's like a book that you read the first three or four chapters on. Then you put it on the shelf, and you don't read it again until the end of the year. My resolution is to finish more games, start to finish, right then instead of waiting until lo- a long time later. I was really good about that this year. So that's, I'm I'm on the, I should probably take some time and, you know, see my family more and things are probably not gaming <laughs> nah. related. Go outside. I, think. Uh, I might need the opposite of gaming. <laughs> you know, my, my resolution is uh, to spend uh, more time um, exploring some of the X and A creators games mm-hmm. and uh, really digging into like uh, a lot of the indie stuff that's coming. I really feel like uh, 2011 could be the year that indie gaming starts to really break big, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like the grunge music movement, man. You know, well. It's weird because now but... there's like a hybrid industry. There's like, like what would you call Double Fine? They're not really indie, but they're not really like, they released a <laughs> AAA title with Brutal Legend, but now it didn't do so well. Now they're moving backwards towards these smaller titles, which seem to be doing well for them. Yeah. It's like a whole new. Although I love Brutal Legend, right. and well, not that's just a game as a metalhead. Game. That I mean, game I really is made did for love JP. That game. Yeah, mm-hmm. but outside of the whole metal thing, I actually thoroughly enjoyed that game. Like is mm-hmm. everything from the writing to even the strategy stuff. Like it, it hooked me, and I played the Absolutely. out of it. Absolutely. And <laughs> anyhow, so. I enjoyed it. Tim and I got our Tim and I got our butts kicked when we were playing online. <laughs> that's kids. right. You guys were doing stadium battles together. I forgot about that. <laughs> we lost so bad. Are people still playing it online? I mean, I just picked it up for ten bucks. So, is are people still playing it online? You are. I will be the only one in the stadium. <laughs> no, I, I I don't know. I, I hope imagine. So. I think almost every game there's at least a few people. Although not Doom because my mom did send me a few years ago all my old discs from computer games. No, no one was playing Doom. No, just me. that's hmm. sad. Yeah, or Quake. Just me. Hmm. I vow to play more Dance Central. That's my <laughs> related New Year's resolution. Well, it, it, what's weird is that at this time... We'll next... have the pro tip segment with you, you know, popping and locking. I would love to. Actually, <laughs> one of the things that they need for... Uh-oh, now um, uh, you won't shut me up. You're going to have to tell me to stop. Um, one of the is things this they a new need... X-Play segment? Is this something I should be pushing for the show? <laughs> I, in Dance Central 2, I really want them to have a human... Like a video you can play with a human being doing the move. Because... Um, if you've really gotten into the game and you're like playing the later songs on hard, there are some moves which you swear to God you are doing correctly according to the animation on the screen, but you'll never pass them. And it's so incredibly frustrating. I just want to call and uh, harmonics and be like, can someone please come and demonstrate the migraine for me? Because every time I do it, I can't, it doesn't. Yeah. So the anyway. migraine is a dance move. Uh, I think yeah. we're all familiar with the migraine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a dance move, right? <laughs> well, uh, at this point next year, we're going to be looking back, like at 2011, kind of. And it is 2011. 
It's Come 20, on, okay. Kevin. Yeah. I mean, we'll be looking He's back. We'll, we'll be looking at, back at 2011 in, in 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 the year in regards. You know, 2011, our year we just had. That's what we're going to be looking back to what? at. How the games were and what mm. the big announcements were. And this one guy, uh, Dropkick06, asks if there's a new console announced at E3 for any of the big three. Are we going to be excited about it? I think it depends what on who console? it is. Well, I say there's a PS4 or Xbox, I mean, whatever. I'm looking at the 3DS technically is a new console. It yeah. is a new console. And so, like, you know, I am excited about the 3DS. I'm not ready for another PlayStation or Xbox. Just I, yet. I think I mean, we'll see a new Wii. I feel like that's the, that, yeah, I feel like the that 3DS, could happen. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, they need to upgrade. Like, what Matt's point last week was that when you take out the processor that's hindering the Wii and you run those mm-hmm. signals straight, it looks a lot better. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, and it's like, why can't we have that version of the console? And I, one that plays DVD. Yeah, I think we're going to see something from them. I don't know if we'll see it at E3, but definitely during the fall, we're, we're going to see something. It's weird that like you look at console cycles and we seem like we would be getting towards the end of this one. But in many ways, I feel like the PS3 and the Xbox are just hitting their stride and we're yeah. starting to see yeah. great titles see what all Bioshock the time. Infinite does before yeah. I start even thinking about what the next system would be. The other thing that I think could be interesting this year is on live. Mm. Let's see what yeah. happens with the uh, cloud gaming and if that mm-hmm. takes off and I've actually works. Seen a lot of advertisements yeah. for it. I did too. On and TV, I, you yeah. know, in theory, that's kick ass. A little box, you know, that yeah. you can just stream your games and you don't have to wait in lines and stuff. I mean, it's. I want to see what happens more with like Steam. I've spent more money on Steam this year than I ever have before. Holiday sale. Oh, it's past now. Just kidding. They just had a just holiday kidding sale. About the, they oh, just had took, a holiday sale. Oh my sale. god! You just took mentioned part. PC, and now I'm thinking Kotor, and we didn't even talk about no, that. No, we didn't uh, talk about MMO. Uh, Sword. Sword. Not Kotor. Sword. Sword. Sorry. Swatter. Yes. Sword. 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 Well, do you think that'll even come out? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. Really? I think it has to almost at this point. Yeah. I don't know. We're okay. Jones and Vort. Um. Why? We'll who is it, man? I want my own. I know we're jonesing for it, but I'm predicting a delay. I'm gonna get my That's Wookie my... and I'm gonna shoot first. Damn it! We can make nice. we can make Kevin wear a suit around the office. Yes. A Wookie suit. A Wookie suit. I'll do it. Leffler has one of those lying around. I'm well, sure. Excellent. Then. I bet it smells. <laughs> then delicious. why do you even need yeah, to play sweater? Exactly. Mm. <laughs> All right, guys. I think uh, that wraps it up. Good Welcome show to the new year. Happy New Year. Good That's show. Right. Happy New Year. We should have gotten yeah. hats. Oh, and champagne. Well, the original concept was that I was just going to be here all alone because everybody's gone home for the holidays, just like calling every so. Is you guys are oh, what's you're up? wrapping presents. What are you doing? That's cool. It sounds Happy fun. New Year. I'm uh, I'm doing feedback. What's that? <laughs> oh, that's cool. You got to go. I I get it. Hey, can, can I time. plug something for X Play real quick? God damn it, JP! On, we on, not plugged enough. I, Come on, on JP. The, the golden mullets are coming stacking? up, and that's you know like my personal favorite show of the year which it's is our, it is fun it's yes. where we just rip things apart and we're cool yeah, heartless our, bastards our least favorite reviews of the year and uh, <laughs> and, uh so keep a keep a tune in for that because it's gonna be a fun one this year there yeah. are some good ones yep all right well thank you for joining me and uh thank you tim shaper and Lee Yay! yeah awesome and uh we'll well, no we won't see you next year because it is next year <laughs> oh, okay. see you next time <laughs> next time <laughs> Hello there, I'm Adam Sessler, host of X-Play, editor-in-chief at G4TV.com. I talk a lot about video games, and sometimes a camera is in front of me when I'm doing that. We call that Sessler Soapbox. It takes about two minutes of your time, but trust me, you will hear invective and joy, and probably a lot of rude things like you've never heard before in the context of video games. I do it for you, so you should check it out. It's up every Tuesday on G4TV.com. <laughs>